I just got right in the middle of the parade, dude. What the? Your boy is not playing games with these 5 a.m. wake up calls. Every single morning so far, 5 a.m. So it's not even daylight at all outside yet. So I have to be in here until that happens so we can get some work done, which is amazing. Of a bottle flip, success. Oh, mighty melon, bless me with this bottle flip for all the players out there, all the hillbillies watching today. I hate you, man. Yeah! We're at the skate park. <laughs> it's way too early to be screaming in this neighborhood. But I did get something very unique in the mail. I got some bearings, and they're supposed to be all weatherproof bearings. And since I live in New York City where the rain don't stop and the snow don't stop and my black boom blah 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 blah. These are crucial, and they're stainless steel, which I think is different. But anyways, rust-free bearings. We're gonna test them out today. We're gonna see if they're faster than my bearings that I have on right now. We're gonna see if they actually survive a water test. We're gonna see. <sighs> okay. So these are the bearings I currently have on my skateboard. They're bones reds, but I've used them a couple times. So this isn't completely legit, but just for the sake of poops and poops, we're gonna flip it right here and see how long it lasts and see if the new ones last longer. Ready, set, fart. Yeah! Okay, new bearings. It's way too cold. Okay, it's stuck. Test number new bearing. Here's the new test with the new bearings. Let's see how long they last. If it's not more, I quit. Oh my God, that seemed like the exact same amount. Am I wrong? All right, let's have some fun. I'm dying. Every time, it's just like... Ah, oh, so close. I don't... What the f Dude, what the f Metal ledges when it comes to slides, dude. Such a waste of... I right, quit. What can you do at this point? If you're not having fun, don't keep trying it. You see the smoke coming off me? Well... I admit, uh, that was frustrating as hell. The problem is that on metal ledges, sometimes they have this very random slide ability to where it'll catch you on slides a lot. Grinds are amazing. You can grind metal ledges all day, but for slides, it's better to do it on a ledge, like a cement ledge that's just waxed really well because you don't lose the consistency. On metal ledges, for some reason, metal likes to catch rubber. And dude, oh my God. Anyways, you win some, you lose some. And today, the one thing that I do want to try is I watched somebody, John Nguyen, do 100 switch kick flips. And as he was doing them, they seemed easy. Easier and easier for him, obviously, because once you practice, you get better and better at a trick. So me, today, 1,000, I'm just kidding. I just want to do 20 switch flips because my switch flips are kind of, I'm not going to lie, dude, they're kind of budget. They're not that cool. So before we leave, 20 switch flips, and they have to be somewhat proper. I can't like tic-tac or be stupid. I just have to be like pop, flick, land, smooth, kiss, push-ups, eating, food, backflips, punching, life alert, sit-ups. That was a pretty good first switch flip. Today is just bringing the pain, dude. Okay. There we go, that was what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, once you try it for that long, it gets easier and easier, and it feels better and better. I swear, I think that's worked. We're gonna put it to the ultimate test. The big, giant, ultimate test. Let's see if I can do a switch flip down this, uh, I guess a four stair. First try, even though it's a four block. Bigger than usual. It's about the size of, I would say, a seven stair. Switch flip, first try for your mouth, and your nose, and your ears, and your face, and your eyes. Moment of truth, baby. Boom! 
Let's do it. Let me do my good luck pop-up trick. Yep, oh, feeling good. First try, practice makes perfect. Confidence makes landing. That was very close for first try. All right, guys, we're feeling pretty groovy. That was honestly a really good first try. It could have been luck, but you know what? Apparently, if you stay optimistic and positive, things come easier your way. Your being me and everyone else. Come on. This is what I always do before I do a trick that I'm scared of. Right here. No! That was bad. That was a bad second try. Bad boy. Right. This is four. We're going to drop this hammer for all the homies and the bomies and the... I landed it, but I clipped and it wasn't a good one. Two in a row, right? Here. Oh my God. A little bit faster, a little bit better. Right here. Oh my God, I'm getting smoked. I gotta do 20 switches on this in a row to get good at it. I believe in this one, guys. Do you, if I land it right here, subscribe right here. We ain't giving up. Never give up. I know before I was saying I was gonna land it, but I was completely joking. This try, I'll actually try it. The other ones, you know, just a, <laughs> just like a good old joke. Still wasn't really good enough, to be honest. One more. Dude, that was a bad one too. Sorry, they're rocket, which means they're tweaking this way instead of this way. Right here, finished. Oh, you're an idiot. You're getting close. Switch flip for the homies. Right here, for the hillbillies. There we go, Oops. Woo! We did it, guys. We did it. Let's leave. <laughs> Oh, and just in case you're wondering what that trick was, it was a switch flip, which is a kick flip, but you're riding opposite stance. So if I ride with my left foot forward, I turn my feet around right with my right foot forward, and that's when I do a kick flip, so it's a switch flip. It's like hitting left-handed. Oh, my legs are exhausted, but before we move on to the water test, the wet test of the bearings, I'm gonna put them in water, let them soak, and we're gonna see how it does. I got a quick Q&A, one question, one answer, from the dog, Connor Sparks, saying, how does John stay so calm when people like that man try to kick him out? If you don't know what he's talking about, this happened in the video the other day. Excuse me, skateboarding is not allowed here. See the signs? I've seen, you know, little old ladies and babies get, some people aren't skilled, I don't know how skilled you are, uh -huh. and run into them and then have to call an ambulance. Yeah, I, I agree. That's one You're yeah. reasonable. Sometimes the people don't go fuck myself and then Right, take care. Well, it's honestly really, really easy. I've been skateboarding since I was 10 years old, so I've been dealing with security, people who don't like me, cops, since I was about 10 or 11 years old, which is more than half of my life. Without exaggerating, I've probably been kicked out more than a thousand times in my life. After all that, you sort of just adapt to the feeling of the mood. I, I could read the guy. I could tell he was more defensive than anything. When he approached, he was kind of like, uh, he was hostile towards my filmer rather than me, so I felt like he was sort of timid, and I didn't want to just approach him and be like, yo, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> because I'm just not insecure about that kind of stuff. I understand where he's coming from, but I also know that anyone who approaches anyone should show some sense of respect, especially if you don't know what they're doing, what they're, what's going on in their head. So I do think that guy approached a little rude, but I understood where he was coming from, and I just talked to him rationally, and then after that he was like, you're reasonable. I like how that worked out. I don't want anyone to walk away from a confrontation with me and be like, man, skaters suck. They're really dumb. And the next time they see some skaters who are young and a little less defensible, they're gonna be huge assholes, and I don't want that to happen. So, I, I don't know. You should always know with any Anyone, there should be mutual respect both ways. If someone does mistreat you, it doesn't mean that you have to give them all the respect. You just try to handle the situation calmly and delicately. Just don't ever think that some guy, just because he's older, has something over you, that there's some reason that you should bow down to this guy because of his age. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, there's some really, really bad people out there that are older, that'll try to say things to you, and you can be like, no, yeah. Anyways, water test. Hey Siri, set timer for one hour. You have a small penis. How about a web search for it? Eventually. Ooh, no, no, no. Hi. Right. This is a horror movie. So for the sake of rust factor, we're gonna leave it chillin' right here and see if they rust over and then see if they work and see if they spin just as fast and just see if the world is still spinning. Am I right, guys? Here 
It comes. Moment of truth, about to spin the wheel. Oh my snap, crackle, and puff. Still going. Is it not better now? I mean, it looks like the water had zero effect on these bears. I'm gonna go outside and cruise around a little bit and see if I can feel any resistance because this seems perfection. I think we're Gucci. Kiss me. There is not a soul in this building today. I have an idea. Probably isn't that smart. So if you didn't know, I work in Casey Neistat's building. Since no one's here, we should go look at his door. Oh my God. Police will be calling Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll leave. <laughs> I love it, it just says no. <laughs> well, hopefully he never sees this video. It is not even four o'clock. How is it already getting dark? This is so ridiculous. Oh my God, I found something all to myself. And the gold lighting on this stage right now, the stage, I don't know what it's called. Jeez, man, hell yeah. Let's see one more test run before we go home and do some Thanksgiving stuff. Right now, I'm just gonna see if I can do some poppy, doodle, flippy, life alert, jabronis. Here comes the first step. Usually this is where you find out that your bearings are completely ruined and you cry a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. A few flag out tricks before we get on our merry way. in like five minutes starting the session. I got a few tricks in, so it felt good, but I gotta say, these bearings, I will say. It's like, you know, I'm gonna say. I guess like I should say. You don't say. They're awesome, they're perfect. I mean, the water did no damage at all, and I will say this, for the average skateboard, if I leave it in the wetness, just for a second, they get ruined. But you can kind of break them back in, but they're pretty much just done. You gotta kind of toss them. For these, I'm gonna keep skating them and report back the next couple of weeks, days, whatever, and see how long they actually last, because today, there was no difference from pre-soak to after soak. <laughs> Amazing. I just got right in the middle of the parade, dude. What the? F Sarah. Hi. It's been a long time since you've been in the vlogs. I feel like. I know. You're I so like, dark right now, too. I feel like you also say something I've never heard in my life. What? You're so dark right now. Oh, right. <laughs> so, Sarah, I just have a quick question. Yeah. It's so good. Yes. What have you been up to? First half of the morning, I did email stuff. Nice. Still got 100 in my inbox. And now I'm literally cleaning. Why? And organizing, because I have so much stuff I don't need. Honestly, I've been kind of enjoying it. I like organization. And it's been driving me crazy that this apartment and like the office aren't quite there, but they're getting there, you know? How was your day, Bay? But I missed you. I missed you too. That's this what is... sucked. I was like cleaning and I was in my groove, and I was like, where's John? <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. Everyone and their family. You want to know a funny thing? I'm just going to keep talking. Go ahead, do your thing. I had breakfast at the pokey place nice. downstairs. There was like no one in there, and the chick was like, oh, she thought I was weird because I put in an order for a bagel and coffee because I didn't want to wait and then I went back for lunch and the same girl's like oh you back <laughs> literally felt like the biggest loser ever she's like oh where are your she friends was, at where sure, are your family yeah, I'm pretty sure she was judging me for sweatpants and no family on Thanksgiving I keep forgetting it's Thanksgiving my whole family called me and they were like did you know it was Thanksgiving did they call my me? entire family didn't know it was Thanksgiving until today but my mommy did call me Aww. they may have forgotten my birthday but they ain't gonna forget <laughs> no Thanksgiving I'll tell you what <laughs> Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. I am seriously so beat that I'm going to be laying down. We're going to get some fancy dinner. Thanksgiving, we're going to mm, 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 you in the face, even though I'm pretty sure every restaurant's closed. So, snacks. Who knows? Chips and salsa. Who knows? Honestly, okay. You know how I was like, it's Thanksgiving. We need to go to a nice dinner because yeah. that's what normal humans would do. The moment I put on these sweatpants, I was just like, yo. You know what sounds better than a nice dinner? Like hooking up the TV. <laughs> and having dinner here and not watching it on our computers. Wait. I'm so in a groove that I'm like, I'm gonna hook up all of our TVs and crap. Wait, what's that one movie that's like, um, Devil Wears Prada? Oh my gosh, we gotta- You already it. know! Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Tune in every single day, because I do these videos every single day. And if you haven't seen, I have clothes back on my website. I'm not sure what's left, because uh, we actually released it last night. But check it out. Progress Daily Gear coming in hot. Winter and fall. Tune in, subscribe, love your face, subscribe. Guys, one more thing before I head out. Subscribe. Life alert. Love you so much. Progress daily. I keep killing it.